Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy and this is Misadventures with Mixed Media. They're all my misadventures. And I'm a total klutz, so there's like extra misadventures sometimes. So, today's, these are my, I gotta see what I have picked because I don't even know if I have it. A business card. I did find I have a business card. I keep losing it. I see it, like I saw it two seconds ago. And then it's probably upside down and so it's invisible. And if it looks like, you know, the same as the last video, it's because it's the same day. Seriously. I just, I saw the business card. It was on top of this. And then I turned on the video. And now there's no business card. How does that happen? Does that happen to anybody else? Am I the only one? can't be the only one. Tell me I'm not the only one. Here it is. Way over there. If it falls, it falls right behind something so I can't see it. Oh, the crystal papery. Now that has purple. That's why I made this card, this background, because I knew there'd be some purple coming. So, we have bark. No, that was week three. This is week five. Business card sticker. Well, I have some options for stickers because I have this little box from Your Creative Studio, which was over there, and I might have moved it over here, but I didn't. But I also have, and I just had those over here and moved them as well, because I don't know why I do the things I do. This is why I can never find anything, because of the things I do, like move my stickers. You know what I really should do right now? Take this stamp and put it back in here. Yes, I lost one already. Oh, here. These stickers. Or. Um, I guess we're not using the box of stickers then. We're just going to go with something snarky. Do you know what the snarky things are? Are you going to tell me which one ahead of time? That would be helpful. But then I wouldn't be able to find it. So. Maybe not so helpful. It's, the other stickers I have are in a little box. Hold on. They were right there. They were just next to something else that was square. All right, so I have these stickers are a possibility. I don't know that I have anything that would go with. Eh, we'll look in a minute. All right. So sticker. Security envelope. Security. Anybody ever watch, um, what's his name? I was thinking. I have this security envelope. I'm just going to use the window part, so it doesn't really matter. matter. This possibility of a sticker. Oh, a place. Oh, text that's not your native language. Well, I still have the rest of that German page somewhere here. Um, even if I just use that one little bit. A place and textured paper. For textured paper, I have this, which is not the right color pink, so we're going to go with this one, I think. Is this one any better? It's, um, it's just dyed paper, but it kind of got raised a little bit when I um, did the thing. So I thought that would be fun. So textured paper, that pink is just not right. I thought I'd stick this in there as a piece if I wanted to. A place. I still need a place. Ooh, let's see if any of these stickers are a place. Because like... some kind of a station somewhere, but that's not quite the right green. Let's see. I'm looking for color first, and then I'll look for... See, because... Uh, that might be too blue. Capital T, December, globe ticket. Let's see. Whoops. Um, Madison. That's a... Club Circle East, Chicago Stadium. That's a place. So our sticker could also be a place. Doesn't have to, like, be a picture of the place necessarily. It could be the name of a place. That's a bright green. Yep, not seeing. Yeah, I think those are my best, my best options color-wise. Putting those right there, I will probably forget. And I do not have a focal point. So we'll see. We'll see what we decide.
what to do. All right. First off, I want a little bit of something back here. So I think I'm going to take this new stamp I have that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And maybe, maybe not. Or where's my, maybe introduce some of this blue. That's faded jeans. I don't want faded jeans. I want chip sapphire. And I did not stamp it clearly, and I did that on purpose. I just want it really, just a light hint of a background back there. There we go. You know, put one in the middle just for fun. Barely shows, but it's not even going to show because that's generally where I do my collage. So... We have our pretty postcard, which has all this art supplies here, which is kind of fun. And I'm going to just bring in this part of the security envelope. I make a lot of noise with it. I don't want that. that yellowy greeny is not what I want for this particular project oh my goodness where'd it go it just flew out of my hands it just well it floated technically it floated like totally you gotta be kidding me why why can't I hold on to stuff it was upside down therefore it had become invisible I was thinking, just want the, um, that art stuff to show through me. I don't have to use the whole business card, do I? I have to use business card, but I can cut it down if I want to. I don't know. I just, I like this picture right here. Oh, I know. I think I know. There, that was a business card. This is the other part of the business card. This is a new color being introduced. I don't want to use the, um, there they are. Just gonna use a side of this. Well, I like these, they have like a million sides, right? Probably won't stay on here because it is like really glossy. <laughs> Super glossy. There's the cover. Let's rip that off a little bit. There. I don't have to have it be super dark. I don't want the middle dark anyway. Okay. So that's my business card. This is my um, security envelope. And what can I put? In the security. Oh, I was thinking maybe a little bit of this back here. Just put a piece of this back here. Maybe a piece with more purple on it. I really like those white spots showing too, so I'm very torn here. There. Yay, he's getting his stuff. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna glue this on here with my glue that's probably not gonna stick forever. Hmm. First piece of paper down, yay! And of course, flash is just. Oh, this piece wants to go in there somewhere. We're just gonna put it right there. There. You know, if a piece of paper floats into your area, it just wants to be part of the collage. That's all.
Okay. So that's just behind there. Nothing special. It's all part of the collage. This is kind of textury just because it had all that thing on there. And I might use a piece of this. I'll, I'll still use a piece of this. And if I could find my um, texture plate, my texture, my, um, the plate that came with my Sizzix, because right now there's a magnetic plate on there. If I could find that, I would totally be doing a different, a different textured paper. I'd be doing some embossed paper. That's what I'd be doing. See, some people like to distress it. And sometimes I don't want to distress it necessarily. I just want to enhance the edges, maybe. So I, I won't use um, like a vintage photo per se, but I might use, just don't like how that ripped and how that looks. Okay. This might be time where I want to do a straight line, a straight ish line. Hmm. I don't know. Gonna glue it on. I'm trying not to overthink these things, which is why I came up with that um, the blind collage. It's just where you blindly pick some collage papers and collage with them. And I do have a video on that if you're interested in checking it out. What else do I need? A sticker and a place. So we have Chicago Stadium. That is going to be our. Sticker and our place, I think. Let's see. Just the tediousness of cutting. Could pause, but I'm already almost done. It's already halfway done before I thought about actually pausing. So I'm thinking about though. Hold on. There, I didn't make you watch me cut that one. What I was saying is I was thinking about maybe doing both stickers so I can bring some more of the dark blue into this. And I may edge the actual card with the dark blue. Oh, I've got glue. I'm going to have to... Gail was talking about glue. She has to have glue in her hands. Earlier today she was talking about that. Well, about three or four days ago she was talking about that. But I saw it on video today because today's when the video came out. And then it helps if you take the sticker part and do that part there. I think I might put the business card down there. And what do I still need? Anything? Business card, sticker, security envelope, text. That's what I forgot. Um, and textured paper is the bonus. So I've got the text right here. I'll put a little bit of this text in here somewhere. And I think that I can probably, yep, yeah, oops, nope. Well, I can here anyway. <laughs> Have that kind of go up from under there. I can't get up from that at all. Wow. Well, it might help if I put glue on it anyway. I'm pretty sure it's too tall to do anything. Let's see. Oh, because I was thinking of having it go like that. We have our text. I know you're thinking, what about this big blank spot? I'm probably going to put my number five there. Probably. Ugh, glue. Glue, glue, glue. And I know we have this random teal color in here. It is bothering me a little bit. I mean, not tremendously, but I was thinking maybe just and with the cover. Also, maybe. A little bit of that. 
those can go in with these little things I cut off from the stickers. I don't know why I don't just put them in the trash. And we could go ahead and do number five right here. And I was thinking give myself a third place. There's blue on the bottom there. Third place to put some dark blue, which might have had a little bit of green in it, but oh well. It's not quite the right dark blue. What is that? That was faded jeans. That's why, because I was supposed to use, where is it? Because I used the wrong blue. That's why it's the wrong blue. Oh, here it is. This is what I was supposed to use. Let's use the right color and see what happens. Use it right over that. Right, right over it. Sure, right over it. Take off some of that faded jeans. And hopefully get some chip sapphire, which the chip sapphire has a little bit more red in it, I think. I don't know. Now we have faded jeans over chip sapphire, but. I'll also go around my edge with a little bit of that too. I was gonna say I didn't do a stamping, but I did. I did that uh, petal stamp or flower, I don't know. It's similar to a stamp I already have, I think. So, um, I feel like I need a, I'll be right back, I need a focal point. All right, I think it's gonna be him. This is from Dreams Etc. It's in a kit that I have from what I did it this weekend, and he's just so cute. And this is like our last day of winter, so why not? And if I had done these in the right order, it would still be winter. You know, if I was doing this in the actual fifth week of the year, it would have been February. He's going to go all the way over here. There. Now, I like it better. You just need to have some kind of a focal point, right? All right. So, that is that one for today. That was number five. Uh, that one. I had them all together here, and then I looked for something. That is the danger. And I'm noticing that there, there is no cohesion. Let's see, that's number three. All right, so, and number one has a big butterfly on it. I think the only thing that is similar is that I've got a, that one's really busy. Man, I thought the one today was busy, but I'm like, whoa, I started out super busy. And then number two, and number three, and number four, and number five. And they're all very different. So I hope you will all have a delightful day if you want to see where I made these, if you haven't already seen them. I have videos for each one. I'm trying to do them short. Well, somewhat short. I mean, they're on little pieces of paper. They shouldn't take that long. <laughs> Y'all have a delightful day. Thanks for coming.